delta pressure transducer calibration, the first thing you want to do is zero out the transducer. Just going to hold this button on the bottom left for about three seconds. Once that reads out good, it is calibrated to zero. Okay, next we're going to level out the calibrator. Okay, so once that bubble is in the center of that circle, you're good to go. Um, after that, what you want to do is make sure that it the whole calibrator is zeroed. So you use the screw on top to get the needle into the middle of the meter. Okay, so it's on the middle, so we're good to go. Alright, next you want to make sure you have this set up with the uh, with your pipe that leads into a T on your tube that can go to both your calibrator and your sensor so that they see the same pressure. So what you want to do is make want to make a few marks on your pipe with some tape. Just have reference points. And our reference points here are 0.4 on the bottom of this tape, 0.8 on the bottom of this tape, 1 on the bottom of this tape, and 1.5 on the top of the tape. So we're going to use those marks. around a little bit just because we're moving around in here so we're going to fix that real quick. Okay, back of the mouth. Okay, so now we're going to submerge our pipe up to the first mark. Okay, so just about there. And that is reading about 0.3, so maybe we were a little bit low. It's kind of hard to tell where to, how to submerge it there. So that's good. So it seems to be holding pretty steady. So we're going to go ahead and have our calibrator try to find the set point. Okay, so there's our point. So that's about one. And then we have a quarter, I believe. And then eight, about seventeen. So that'd be about um, one point four two, just about there. So double that, and that's about two point eight four. You need to double the measurement on this because there's two columns of water to measure instead of just the one. So uh, that's pretty much the whole procedure. Once you uh, compare your number in your uh, the LabVIEW program for this. You can calibrate it based on the computer program to match the exact number that you get with the calibrate. And that's pretty much the whole procedure.